Welcome to Scanny TV on YouTube once again. Let's see the latest updates coming in from the camp of Black Stars players, Ghana, Black Princesses, and some other updates we need to know on this channel. The sad thing is, after the Ghana Black Princesses, they qualify for the World Cup, which will happen this year in Colombia. Their winning bonuses are yet to be paid. I cannot speak about, you know, the African games that just ended. But for now, the World Cup qualifies that they played. Their bonuses are still yet to be paid by the Ministry of Youth and Sports. And it is really sad. I'll speak a little on that and also talk about Michael Asian. He has spoken about the Ghana Football Association. And one GFA member, he says that... John Pinto should not drop the court case against countryman Songo and the other journalists. Well, and if he does, he's going to be disappointed. We'll check it out as well in this one and talk more about Black Stars players' performances. Fatai Saku Abdo on Thomas Party and Ghana. Are we going to host the Commonwealth Games? Well, some things are actually coming up like that. We'll speak a little on that and some more in this update. Before then, if you have joined us, take your time and like the video as you do always. After liking, if you are new, subscribe to the channel. Put us on post notification so that anytime you drop the latest update, you'll be the first person to get and also enjoy. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and comment in the comment box. In the next video, I'll try and bring you shout out. So try and leave something in the comment box. And after watching the video, please share so that others will also come here and enjoy the latest updates on this channel. Now, let me begin from here. Before we come to the uh, other updates, let's begin from the Ghana Black Princesses. I'm so much concerned about these young girls because under 20 girls, they are doing so well and virtually the women national teams are giving us joy at the moment. They won the All-African Games, but before then, they had qualified for the World Cup that will happen in Colombia later this year. And these girls, what is due them is yet to be paid. Yes, today it was conversation on some platform on, on X and I'm so much worried about it. I spoke about this issue almost two weeks ago and we are still here and on the same particular um, you know situation the money is due the girls is here to be paid and that is a worrying situation as i said i cannot speak about the african games whether they were promised something that if they win they'll give it to them for that one i don't know but what i know is for the world cup qualifiers that they played qualification bonuses needs to be paid to these young girls and they are so much desperate and frustrated about these monies which has not been paid to them so ministry of youth and sports we know that you are supposed to bring out the money so that we used to pay the girls make sure you do so gfa give them pressure because these girls are the only ones holding the um, football association at the moment and that is it so i just wanted to speak a little on that now today michael asian yes former midfielder for ghana black stars and um he played at the highest level yes to the epl for chelsea football club and um, he has commended the ghana football association on bringing back coast football yes gfa you know they've posted something um that they are going to start coast lake in ghana here and my creation was so much impressed with it so he took it to his official x account and he posted great news finally we have our coach youth football league back well done as ghana football um official as gfa official for bringing back coast football so my creation was just applauding them for bringing back coast football and it is a great one even though some are saying that why, why is he coming to get appointment that's why he's applauding them i think it's just good for us to get coast football back and it is going to help um in ghana here for the development of um you know young talent in the nation now let me move forward and bring you some more updates um let me talk about Joseph Pinto, yes, I brought you an update last two days that he played for his side. That is talking of LA Galaxy. They played against Los Angeles and it was a tough game in there. Now, unfortunately, as the game was going on, the player, he suffered racist abuse. Yes, um, they were actually calling him names, you know. Um, these things have been happening to a lot of players across the globe and um, in the U.S. Major Soccer League, I didn't know that it actually existed there like that. But, you know, he suffered racial, racial abuse and um, due to that, the club, um, that is talking of um, Los Angeles, um, they have issued a statement and they said that they are going to give the issue to the police so that they will do their investigation and get all these supporters to face the law. So, yes, they are standing with the player, the same as LA Galaxy. They have also released a statement to back the player and also help him. So, that is it also on Joseph. Painter. Now, last task, um, team manager, 
His name is Aminu Shado. Yes, he has come out today to say that if John Pinto dropped their case against Countryman Songo, against Sadiq Adams, Veronica Kome, and the other journalists and the media houses, he personally is going to be disappointed. He took it to his official ex account after yesterday. Um, Countryman Songo apologized to um, John Pinto of what he has done live on TV. This is what he posted. I'll be extremely disappointed in JP, John Pinto, if he drops this. This did not start today. Something must surely happen to hold people in such space responsible. That is what he shared as quoted by Ghana Web. And I'm also sharing with you on this channel. So according to him, um, John Spencer should never forgive them or he should never drop those cases. He should take them to court, drag them and make sure that they face the law. You know, John Peter is demanding a total of 80 million Ghana cities from all these um, eight people who have been actually saved the rate. So that is it also on that front. What are your thoughts? Let me know it in the comment box. I mean, Shadow, yes, I mean, calm down. Uh, um, we are all in this particular space, so calm down. The football ecosystem is wider and let's all actually be in there and help Ghana football to also go up. Now, Arsenal Football Club today, they locked one to it Bayern Munich. Before then, let me speak a little about the Champions League games tonight. It was really tough. Of late, I'm somehow calm, but but, um, you know, I'll be back fully. At the Bernabeu, we had Real Madrid. They locked once with Manchester City. And the game ended 3-3. Real Madrid 3, Manchester City 3. Manchester City took the lead. Real Madrid equalized, came back quickly in the first half. So at halftime, it was 2-1 for them. Then second half, Manchester City came back, equalized and scored again. Then Real Madrid also actually equalized so that the game will be 3-3. And it was an interesting game to watch. In England, we also had um, Arsenal. Their game was also a similar one. Arsenal took the lead. Then away side, Bayern Munich, they equalized and scored in the first half. Second half, then... Arsenal also equalized for it to end 2-2. So, these are the two UEFA Champions League games. I know you really enjoyed it, especially the game between Real Madrid and Manchester City. What a match, what a game. So, yes, that is it. Now, let's talk about interest. You know, Arsenal Football Club, Thomas Partey, he featured for them. Today, he didn't start. He came on to do just about 10 minutes plus of additional time. And that is it also for the player. He had 10 touches in 10 minutes. Then he gave 8 passes out of 10 attempts in a game. Um, long was he sent one pitch or also accurate but he also went on to give one um one ground war and he did not win he also went on to give um two times he lost two times possession one foul in the game and gets a rating of 6.5 via so fast score he picked up a yellow card which was a cool one but Arsenal football club fans are not happy because there was a penalty call they feel um saka bukayo saka got a penalty for them but while watching it clearly <laughs> it is really some way some referees might take penalty others too might ignore but um it was a close call but he didn't actually give penalty to arsenal so arsenal fans are not happy on that front so let's see how the second leg will actually look like this was uefa champions League quarter final first leg so the second leg will happen one in its yard that's manchester city real madrid then the second one will happen at alliance arena in um, germany is going to be Bayern Munich versus arsenal football club so let's see how things will go on that front now ghana today they've been reports that we are also uh, in a poor position to host the next commonwealth games you know commonwealth games right now almost all the countries are actually um abandoning it or they are rejecting to host states malaysia and all the other nations if they take it to them later on they'll, they'll be like we are not prepared financially and a whole lot of stuff now ghana minister of youth and sports and um, that is mr mustafa yusuf he has come out to say that ghana is prepared we have the facilities and we can host the commonwealth games what do you also make of that let me know your thoughts in the comment box so i'll be, I'll be displaying everything that he said on my right hand here and for you to also enjoy so according to him ghana we are ready we hosted african games and we are ready to host the commonwealth game so um maybe they are planning to go and bid for it let's see how things will go as almost all the countries are rejecting it maybe ghana we are ready to accept let's see according to him he said that because of the money that's involved that they'll give you around 100 million dollars to also organize the games and according to him we are ready to host it let's see how things will pan out on that front so guys these are some of the few latest updates i wanted to share with you on this channel on black stars players on former player um, John Pinto and his issues. We also spoke about our mini shadow and Black Stars players performances and others. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Don't forget to always like the video for me, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This was Kenny TV and of course we shall meet later.